A few miles north of Santa Fe on Bishop's Lodge Road is a resort bearing the same name. Its property in the foothills of the Sangre de Cristos is home to the stables used by Equus, a program fostering self-discovery and growth through the interaction with horses. Equus founder, Kelly, will be guiding me through my equine experience today. Some of the work that we're doing is, some people might call it horse whispering, when in fact they're whispering to you. Mm. A lot of their language is nonverbal. A lot of it is energetic. Mm -hmm. And so they give us information, you know, ways that are really safe, um, subtle, and quiet. So we have to tune our antennas a little exactly. bit. Exactly, <laughs> we have to tour, tune our antennas. Let me back up and just say that the herd is a 55 million year old system. Right. They're the oldest, most successful mammal mm -hmm. on the planet. So when we play with the herd and the horse, we're playing with a very successful system to teach us ways of being that can help us thrive. Right. So my job's just to read what they're doing in your company, give you some information that can be helpful, and then and we're gonna play and have fun. Sweet. I will be over here. As my time with the group drew to a close, the unspoken exchange between the horses and myself eluded me, making me curious to hear what Kelly had surmised from the interaction. So, so let, allow me to tell you a few things that I, that you may I, enter. I noticed you, you may, <laughs> in that. You, there you are. Um, you know, there's a saying in this work, which is how you do anything is how you do everything. Mm -hmm. So you come into a space where you don't know, and you're very gentle on the earth, and mm. you're cautious as you walk around, and you pick up some hay and offer it as an offering, which is a beautiful offering, and mm -hmm. can get in the way of just pure connection. Mm -hmm. To have that as, an, as a way in is a beautiful thing. If it's your only way in, mm -hmm. it can cost you because it makes you small and mm -hmm. it makes the other small because we need this. Mm. Does that resonate yeah, with you at direct. all? Yeah, more direct. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The other thing I notice is how much Helios has been all over us. And Helios is, um, bless him, a space invader. Mm -hmm. And it's and one of the ways that he serves the group is by checking everybody out and seeing, can I press your boundaries? Mm. Because if he can press your boundaries, then everyone can press your boundaries. Right. So he's gonna, he's gonna be the litmus test. How does pleasing play out in that situation? It's kind of like the en energy vampire situation. Yes. Energy vampires great. and you're just appeasing it and it keeps great. on coming back and it keeps on. Great, right. great. And mm -hmm. energy vampires, great. Mm -hmm. So you have a choice here mm -hmm. with who we're gonna play with to work on you know, building that fidelity to yourself, to mm -hmm. being you, without having to fall into necessarily appeasing in order to build relationships. Right. So, um, does that feel like a good direction we're going? Yeah. Which two horses have pulled your attention the most? Uh, I, to be honest, the female mare. Artemis? Uh, yeah, okay. Artemis, the kind of dominant. Yes. Female or say uh -huh. um, Helios, Helios yes, or Helios. Right, so it's right. like to, to me, those are the two extremes. Yes, they are know? exactly. Mm -hmm. So I have this rope. I'd just like you to lay it out around you and give yourself permission to feel who are you, what kind of space feels good around me. Mm -hmm. Great. After defining the perimeters of my personal space, it was time to see if I could get Helios to respect so the these boundaries. Good, Michael. The, the, the game here is, can he stay at your shoulder? Okay. No matter how fast or slow you go. Fist forward is go, yep. And you're the one setting the pace because you're the leader. Have a sense of more clarity and purpose with your stride. Okay. See how that goes. Okay. Okay. Looking where you want to go, thinking about your chest. And if he crowds you, you can move him over with your arm or your hand. Yep, you certainly can. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. How's that feel? A lot better. 
After some success with Helios, I was ready to work with Artemis. Is that how you feel? Yeah, she's, she's gonna roll, so we'll let her do that and get that out of her system. There we go. Hmm. So they like the sand? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just really soft and mm -hmm. scratchy and... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it should be nice and dirty for our film. <laughs> So if she is laying there and you feel to get closer, you may. Okay. Being present with yourself. Laying down is the most vulnerable place for a horse to be. Mm. And you see how she's blinking her eyes? Yeah. So that's a horse in a very kind of zen space. And she, horses always get up after a roll. So this is a very, very important moment for her with you very important actually this has happened once in the years that i've done this work once this means that your presence without anything added no bribery no pleasing no grass no metaphorical hay is extremely safe to the strong feminine can you tell me what that is for you? Mm. This never happens. Any impressions, any anything, Michael, you just really need to let in because this is a real significant sharing, teaching, downloading for you and mm -hmm. her. Yeah. She's also benefiting. So there's a gift to your presence because this strong animal who her entire life's work is around caring for a herd of horses, in your presence she can relax, she can let go. This is a very intimate moment, yeah. but what, mm -hmm. does this, what does this tell you? Uh, what do you know about yourself that is being reflected here? Just a clearness of intention and um, meaning no harm. Mm -hmm. That I, I understand that, that feminine energy that she has, that, mm -hmm. the aspect to herself and that it's valid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She just wants to be empowered to be herself. And when there's a lot expected, of her all the time you know we're all saying is we're all human but we're all beings we're all we need respite we need to nurture and be nurtured and acknowledge and, and to acknowledge so for me there's just a the ultimate desire is for whoever or whatever to be in its fullest potential and its fullest self 
and not necessarily having to need to be anything else. With Kelly's interpretation as I lay with Artemis, the lesson was learned, and I am forever grateful. Beyond Equus, Bishop's Lodge offers other equine excursions such as trail riding. This historic property and five-star resort is a destination all of its own. Consider treating yourself to a weekend getaway. And while you're in the neighborhood, grab a bite to eat at the Tasuke Village Market. 